Open source is still king when it comes to data engineering. Don't let Snowflakes or Databricks or whatever company try to sell you on their freaking perfect solution because it's probably not perfect and it's probably very expensive. So if you wanna know what the best tech stack to use for data engineering right now, one is gonna be Apache Spark for the processing framework. Apache Spark can handle arbitrary sizes of data. I've worked with Apache Spark to process pipelines that you know process like 200 terabytes an hour and stuff like that. Like Apache Spark is incredibly powerful at processing data. Uh, for the orchestration layer of like what's gonna schedule these jobs, I would recommend using either Apache Airflow or Mage. Mage is a new up and coming one that's a bit better than Airflow. I would say uh, for the storage layer, you just use a cloud offering, probably S3 or GCP or Azure or something like that. Like that's probably the best way to store your data in the, in the lake. And for the file format, I love Apache Iceberg. Apache Iceberg is amazing because you can just be able to auto compact your files and it compresses your files down and makes them smaller for you kind of automatically. And it also can do append, which uh, you can't do uh, with like the old meta stores like Hive. Like that's the amazing thing about Apache Iceberg is like if you have data coming from streaming and data coming from batch, it's very put together in a way that is gonna be really powerful. And I highly recommend that you learn about Apache Iceberg. It's definitely the future of data engineering. So really you don't need that many pieces to do data engineering, right? So you need a compute, Spark, orchestration, Airflow or Mage, and then storage, right? Which is gonna be like S3 and uh, Iceberg or S3 and Hive, I guess if you want. Or you can also try out Parquet. Parquet file format is pretty amazing as well. That one can compress things down quite a bit. So yeah, definitely uh, don't have to buy into the vendors and be a slave to Databricks or Snowflake or whatever. You can definitely still do data engineering with open source technologies and it is amazing. So if you wanna follow me for more, do so.